Estamos aqui com o John Smith, capitão do Springboks, campeão de 2007. Uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to talk to you. It's an opportunity we can't let it slip. Uh, just talking to you about the match tomorrow. Uh, you're a champion, World Cup champion uh, in 2007, captain. Uh, what, what do you think is going to be like tomorrow? Uh, Springboks lost four years ago, but won in the beginning of early September. Uh, how do you think it's going to be the match tomorrow? Yeah, like I think it's um, it's great to be able to get into a quarterfinal, and uh, you know, I think the, the, the best eight teams have gotten through. South Africa are playing against the home nation, which is I guess puts the pressure on uh, on, uh, on us because I think the whole world is rooting for Japan. Um, but I, I still think that our, our guys have got what it takes to be able to get through this quarterfinal. It's the most difficult part of the World Cup, the quarterfinals, because it's um, sort of a, an awkward playoff do or die game and you know, all the teams this week, only half were going to go through on Monday and they're actually going to fly home. So um, I think it'll be a phenomenal match. We're playing against a very good Japan side, but I think our team has enough to do the business. Uh, who, who do you think is going to be the worst uh, nightmare for, for the South African team? Look, the thing is with playoff rugby is that every sort of weekend presents different challenges whether you've had a bad week from an injury point of view or a stomach bug or so um, your challenges vary and, and what you would expect from an Australian, New Zealand, or Ireland or in England on a normal test week will change in a, in a semi-final or a quarter-final or a final so um, you know there's some very good teams I think that the, the beauty of this World Cup is that there's probably five or six teams that are really are coming here with the ability to win it's New Zealand, uh, Australia, England who are playing each other now, um, the Irish, South Africa, uh, you know, Wales have won the Six Nations and, and uh, you know, I haven't left too many teams out of the quarter finalists so it's, um, it's every single week is very difficult. Sure. Who, who do you think South Africa is going to face in the final? I, think, I, I suppose, I think, well, you, you if, know. If we go through and not yeah. to be um, arrogant but if we do go through I think then we'll, we'll have faced Japan in, this, in the quarterfinal um, I think we're gonna face France in the final as an upset no no in the, uh, semifinal. Oh, in the semifinal yeah. and in the and, final uh, and I, I, I also think that that's gonna be a different game to what people expect everyone's thinking uh, South Africa and New Zealand but I, I think it's gonna be difficult for any team in this World Cup to beat England the way they play okay so, so you're betting South Africa and England that's what I think cool and talking about the the Rugby World Cup atmosphere, uh, it's different being in Japan. You, you've been in a couple of World Cups before. So I, I've been in a few World Cups. I've never been to Japan before ever until this week. Okay. So it's my first week here, and I found it to be a phenomenal experience. Um, purely because it's it's a, everything is different. The culture is different. The people are amazing. Um, you know, I think my first experience was asking someone in a shop where to find an ATM for cash. The guy came with me, he left the shop, yep, walked two true. blocks with me and took me to the bank to get some money. So um, I found that amazing and then my first trip to the stadium today was just so easy. You know, two, two trains, through the people, everything sort of works, everyone sort of holds their place. And, uh, and then the games, the games have been phenomenal to watch. I've obviously watched all of them from back home in the studio, but now I get to experience it live, so it's a privilege. Excellent. Estamos aqui com o Brian Albana, jogador dos do Springboks, África do Sul. Campeão 2007. So, Bernard Bana, you won uh, the Rugby World Cup already in 2007. Uh, what are you feeling now? And what do you think are your predictions for, for the Springboks this World Cup? I think we would miss an absolutely fantastic tournament, you know, given that we had a natural disaster and uh, Typhoon Hajibes come through this place to get to have one or two rounds of that last group stage is in place and then have you know, eight of the best teams in World Rugby playing in the quarterfinals. I think it's been an absolutely well-run process. I think, you know, given the quality of the top eight sides in, in the quarterfinals, it's going to be a tough, you know, tough old road, but I really believe that the Springboks have everything in their artillery to, to go on and win it. Okay, and, and who do you think South Africa is going to face in the final? It's, it's really interesting. England are, are looking really good against Australia at the moment, and I think New Zealand coming to this tournament as the current holders of the of the trophy and the number one side of the world are going to be a force to be reckoned with and you know we've got to overcome Wales as well uh, or France in, in, a, in a semi-final and then you know first and foremost Japan tomorrow night so you know hopefully you know we can get to the final and if we do you know I, you know I could probably see it being against England or Australia and England or England or New Zealand.
England or New Zealand? Yeah. Okay. And what about Japan tomorrow? Do you think they're going to be a threat, a real threat? Without like, a doubt. Like four years ago? Yeah, without it. Well, I don't think like four years ago. We've, you know, we've seen Japan come on in leaps and bounds in terms of rugby over the last 10 or so years. What we saw in 2015 was something really special. What we saw against Ireland at this tournament was, was even more special. And I think you know, one of the best moments I've ever experienced from a live experience perspective was that game against Scotland last week Sunday. And if Japan can play like that, they'll, they'll be a massive threat to that South African team on, you know, on Sunday night. But hoping that the South African side, you know, with the juggernauts that picked up front and some really good backs, at yeah, at uh, out wide, that we could do something special. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for your time. Much. Thank you very much. I go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.